Selena Gomez and her bestie Francia Riza open up about their tough road to recovery after the singer's life-saving kidney transplant. We couldn't take showers by ourselves. I mean, it was a really brutal process. In any situation you're in, if you're with the right group of people, it's all that matters. Months after Selena underwent surgery as a result of her battle with lupus, the pop star reveals the health challenges that led to her complicated transplant on the Today Show. I had arthritis. I, my kidneys were shutting down. I just kept, my mentality was just to keep going. Her roommate at the time, Francia, explained how she found out Selena was gravely ill. She couldn't open a water bottle one day. She chucked it and just started crying. And I said, what's wrong? And that's when she told me. And she goes, I don't know what to do. The list is seven to 10 years long. And it just vomited out of me. I was like, of course I'll get tested. A quick decision that led to an even faster testing process. Francia explained that because of the emergency situation, she found out if she was a healthy donor for Selena in a day, a process that normally takes six months to complete. It is incredibly difficult to find a match. The fact that she was a match, I mean, that's unbelievable. I had to write a will, which is scary because there's no guarantee you'll wake, you'll wake up. Thankfully, Francia says post-surgery was smooth sailing for her. But Selena was not so lucky when she woke up after the transplant. I started hyperventilating and there was so much pain there. Selena revealed one of her arteries flipped, causing doctors to pull her back into a six hour surgery. I want them to know it's okay. I was okay with dealing with it. Now the 25 year old singer says she's doing better than ever. As soon as I got the kidney transplant, um, my arthritis went away. My lupus is about a three to 5% chance it'll ever come back. Um, my blood pressure is better. My my energy, my life has been better. 